Thank you so much, Ryan. Uh, yeah. How's everybody doing today, first off? Very yeah, good. yeah, yeah. Out here getting the work, getting the work done. I want to give honors and salutations to a couple of people. I want to start off with uh, Carlos Varan from the Patriot Guard Riders and uh, just the work he does with wreaths across America. Y'all, please give him a round. <laughs> yeah. And then next up is Artie Neary from Local 3, corresponding secretary of the Veterans Club. Yeah. Yeah. We don't have Carlos and Art coming together. We don't have this thing today. Uh, next, one, I want uh, to just recognize my good friend Ryan Graham, who just spoke from the Queen's Council, Veterans of Foreign Wars, <laughs> Legislative Committee. <laughs> Calling out our hosts here at Nears Tavern. Just give, give Lois and Gordon a round, y'all. Please give Lloyd a round. <laughs> also, we got Kim Carrivas from his staff. And then anyone you see here working the bar, all the folks here, just when you get a chance, pull them aside and say thank you. So, and then. I uh, want to especially call out, put your hand up if you put a uniform on at some point in service of this country. All of our veterans, where are you? Give yourselves a round of applause, please. <laughs> An extended round to the folks who love our veterans. Anyone who is here is a supporter, allies, family, friends, give yourselves a round also, please. please. We're not in the foxhole by ourselves, right? Thank you so much for what you did here today as far as putting the flags on those graves over at Cypress Hills. I just want to say a few words. I've been going to different places, talking to people, doing this across the city. I was at Woodlawn in the Bronx last week. I'm here right now. I'll be in Staten Island tomorrow talking to a group of uh, Cub Scouts. And then I'll be myself at Cypress Hills on Memorial Day on that morning. We appreciate what you do. And at the end of the day, many people just take for granted what we have. People don't realize freedom isn't free. People, familiarity breeds contempt. And I love that all of you came together, not just you, but everyone who was out there putting those flags on those 21,000 graves, recognizing that, no, we, we can't forget this. We have to remember this. We have to honor this, and we appreciate this, including the folks here at Nears who just opened their homes up to you right now. I've got to put the history lesson out here just so it can be said, because we can't name every single name of every man and woman who made this sacrifice we can tell the collective story. This country is 20, 245 years, 10 months, 24 days old. In that time, we've had 12 major conflicts. Think about everything from the Revolutionary War up to these wars we just had in Iraq and Afghanistan. In those conflicts, 44.9 million men and women served in those conflicts. People took the oath and they went to fight. Of those people, 1.5 million or 1 million, 483,622 were wounded. It's called non-mortal wounding. It's a historic name for it. Doesn't even include folks who have anything that you can't see. That's a hidden wound. So about 1.5 million were wounded. 658,088 were KIAs. They were killed. That's everything. Revolutionary War to now, the count as best we have it. It is so important for us to remember these people. I often say to folks, when it's an individual situation, say the name. I was at the VFW post in Staten Island named after Staff Sergeant Michael Ollis. I said, say the name, Michael Herbert Ollis. We are, don't have the time to say the names of all 658,088 folks. The least we can do is take time, like this weekend and like Monday, to honor folks by putting the flag in the ground and just recognizing them there. I, I, I told the kids last week in Woodlawn, physically, whatever's left of them is laying down, but their souls stand up. So when you put that flag in, it just represents the fact that their souls stand up to enable us to do what we do and to be what we be. And so as we gather, just recognizing this, you know, I, I ask you to do a few things. One of them, I wish I could tell you this is it, but I'm asking you to teach people these stories. Make sure these folks aren't forgotten. This should be beyond just Memorial Day weekend or Memorial Day or Veterans Day. This is 24-7, 365. We have, and I'm just telling you the same thing I told the kids, because the same message applies. We've been walking on two feet as a species for three and a half million years, y'all. This iteration, this version of us, Homo sapiens, is 15,000 generations old, 300,000 years. This country, I just told you the count, we are only 245 years, 10 days, and 24 uh, ten, 245 years, 10 months, 24 days old. For the kids, it was some uh, K through 6th grade, it was the scouts. I put my hands out. I said, if you look at the history of mankind, and if this is the very beginning of it, 
And this is where we are right now. America's existence is the tip of the tip of my finger. This is the first time we as a species have tried to form a multiracial, multi-ethnic, gender-respected, free enterprise-backed democracy. This is an experiment. It goes, the zigzag goes up, down, up, down, but it's up with zigzag. And it takes, for this to survive, to sustain itself, to be here, it takes men and women willing to fight and die so that a lot of our other folks back here, the other, what is it, less than one half, one percent serve, it's less than 7% now who have ever worn the uniform as our, as our uh, World War II and Korea folks are dying away. So less and less of those who serve, these other people make the sacrifice for the larger body to enjoy life, to enjoy liberty, and to enjoy the pursuit of happiness. And so I just ask you to keep doing what you're doing today, but just let folks know every day about these things that we might honor all of these men and women. And not just them, the families suffer too. Spent too much time with Gold Star families. Spent too much time with Blue Star families to sit here and look at you and say that this is a thing we do alone. I'm in the Army, but it's not an Army of one, y'all. This is really all of us here in the foxhole. And we recognize everyone who's in this tribe as we go through this fight. And so with that, just want to leave you with a few quotes and say thank you again for all that you do, and we appreciate you. This is, you see it at the 9-11 Museum. This is uh, from Virgil's Aeneid, over 2,000 years old. It's, no day shall erase you from the memory of time. No day shall erase you from the memory of time. And then the way you do today, and what our service members do, I, I just got to call this out. This is Shirley Chisholm. Before Muhammad Ali said it, it was Shirley Chisholm. It was, service is the rent we pay for the privilege of living on this earth. Service is the rent we pay for the privilege of living on this earth. Thank you so much, y'all. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Happy Memorial Day weekend. Final word. That's it. Now I have to say it. Thank you very much, Commissioner. Thank you. Thank you for taking the time.